Hello there, in this tutorial I want to show you how to disable the background internet usage of Razer Synapse software or Razer Chroma or whatever other packages you have and using this method you can also enable it and make it use the internet whenever you want it to make an update or whatever so first thing we need to do is um, identify where the software is installed for us the default uh, path is going to be here app folder inside it they're going to be uh, folders with different um, versions so the versions might not be the same for you as they are for me after that we just go to the start menu and search up for firewall open up the firewall and go to the new rule here make sure to select program then in this path right here we just go to browse and go to the same location we went before where the razor software is installed program files razor app engine folder and from here we select this one and we click on next then block connection option next and make sure those three are selected then we can just name it here whatever we want i'm just going to name it this and click on next after that we create a new rule and this time it's going to be for the other executable click on browse and click on the open the uh, folder with the last version it's going to be usually in the bottom um, then click this and next then block connection as well for this and next and name it whatever you want I'll just name it this to identify it next time I want to enable it and next thing is to go to the outbound connections here this is for the upload the previous one inbound is for the download speed and here we just select the same thing we just do the same thing for outbound and we name it whatever you want then finish and a new rule and make sure to make their new rule for the other executable and block connection here and name it like this and that's it now when we go to the task manager we can notice that it's not using any internet speed anymore and that's it now to enable it if you want to make an update later on you can just go ahead to the to the firewall and go to the rules that we made and in the inbound you just you just right click and disable the rule and that's it do it for these two and in case it doesn't work it doesn't let you update you just uh, restart the app and it should let you so i hope this helps you out and peace out